Hello everyone, Sidi here back again with another video. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to import CSV file. Also, you can export CSV file and also we have uh, here created the user list. So, user can check how many users are registered. So, and also we have the applied the pagination. So, this kind of uh, basically you can check here. We have the two data basically right now. So, because of pagination uh, issue, so I have uh, so I'm right now I'm showing only two data at a time so if you want to increase the data same time so you can increase the data so this kind of this kind of functionality i have done right now so today we will discuss about this kind of functionality in laravel so before starting this series i am going to show you from scratch everything so now i have created here file okay so we have the export user data light let me check so one second i am going to here first of all so right now here we are uh, the export data something and import data something so I am going to change here the name of uh, let me change the particular list here here we have the import import and here we can export the data we don't need to write here let me remove this one now let me go user list here we can go the import the data yes so now suppose we have the empty files okay we have empty file right now here so I'm going to import user created successfully so I'm going to show you my database so in my database have already some fields uh, name email and password something so right now we have the uh, approximately eight data something so now I'm going to truncate this table now I'm going to show you again yes user created successfully now we're going to show we have two data so so you can import and if you want to export the data so just click on export and here I'm going to show you export the data something we have this one let me show you look at here we have the data like this one okay we have the exported like id and password something so we have the data like this one so now i am going to show you uh, my list basically here so what we need to do here we have to import the data we can export the data and also we can check the data how many data are there so you can check here so again if you want to import you can go here and just select empty files we have and import again and again so we can check at least paginations view so look we have now data so we can paginate something so these are functionality i have done right now so how you can do that so here we have uh, i have installed laravel phrase version so you can install laravel phrase version uh, from uh, laravel website also also once you install the laravel website then you need to follow the some steps so i am going to show you some step uh, like first of all you need to install laravel once you install the laravel then you need to install composer okay so composer basically we have the package like laravel excel so we will uh, import basically this package so we need to write composer require and met website excel so once you created the website then you need to put inside of the configuration folder app.php so where you need to update i'm going to show you in the providers so we have the app.php you need to add in provider on alias so let me show you here we have added pro inside of the providers you can check here line number 177 we have added and after that we need to add also one more line for the alias so once you configure uh, inside uh, configure this uh, app.php then we need to go create a dummy record something then you need to uh, put your database credential inside of the env file once you created the env file and uh, also once you install the laravel we have the already by default created database file which is user we have this one so we need to put here username email and password something once you created then you need to migrate so you need to run command php artisan migrate so once migration also done 
then you need to add inside of the route so also I am going to inside of the route which is web.php so then we need to add here some uh, this export I have added so we have created also model then you need to create model so then uh, once you created model you need to create function different kind of kind of function so here we are uh, basically uh, we are loading the page here import export view and once we get that this particular page then also we getting here we are exporting export view import view and here we have the post method once we importing then we calling the post method so here we have uh, let me show you my controller inside of the my controller we have created file uh, once you created the files we need to also need uh, some functionality which is provided the ma uh, mat website so what is mat website basically we have the mat website this one basically okay so these are the package then we need to also the import and export functionality predefined in laravel uh, this package importing basic mm, let me show you importing to model suppose uh, we need to import this this one so uh, you need to write like this one query uh, I am going to show you you need to run uh, PHP artisan make import and your uh, basically uh, whichever name we need to need so I have created user list something okay so this one user import and here we need to write model so also I have created one uh, block so you can check from the, my, my blog also so we need to add this one okay so once we have created this one then we need to add inside of the import and export something so we have the import file uh, basically we have the import folder inside of the let me show you app and we have the import inside the import we have created one file which is a user import.php so we have created a user import.php then we need to write here uh, whatever data we passing from the add uh, controller then we need to write here okay so we have created as a row then we are inserting here a name email and password okay so once we get this kind of information then we need to write also for the export so we have created for the import then we need to write one command also for export let me show you we have seen here for the import then we need to write for the export also so here we need to write this one uh, PHP artisan make export and user model something so once you created inside of the app export we we will get this file export.php so in let me show you here once we get export then we need to write here return user all so once user get then we return all data like this one okay so we have also here one function which is user controller then we will run this particular command okay so we will get in the excel so i will change in csv folder also we can write the csv extension that's it uh, no need to write a lot of code okay so again i am going to show you my controller in inside of the controller we have the created basically uh, my controller and we have the import view which is this one so once user um, uh, hitting the import functionality when loading this page import we have a created import page is here import.blade.php inside of the resource folder okay so resource view folder and we have here the export model so if anyone hitting the export we particular uh, uploading uh, basically downloading the file user.csv so you can put the extension like excel also okay and then we have the import method this is the main file basically uh, here we are exporting here from the here we have the user import we have already seen we have created and uh, inside of the model we, uh, user import class we have uh, passing the data this one file and once file is successfully submitted then we will redirecting basically here success message so we can redirectly from here redirect from here and also we have the import and we are uh, uploading from here list suppose we have the multiple data now we need to show in list so we getting the data from here this is a query builder in laravel so we using query builder inside of the query builder we can also passing the paginate how many values we want so we can uh, put here value whatever value we need okay so once whenever you need to paginate then you need to write this line of the code here i'm going to show you user list uh, nothing else this one this is important for the paginations user links that's it and also we are using uh, bootstrap so i have uh, put it this code from the uh, bootstrap uh, so we need to write here the table something id name and email so we can 
put that like this one okay so once we have created uh, blade file we have the created model we have created model okay so this is working fine and uh, low, let me show you again look uh, this is working fine everything if you want this code I will post in github uh, okay so you can check from my github uh, blog sorry you can check from my github account I will upload in github also I will write every step in my blog so you can check from my blog my blog is basically real programmer so you can check from the real programmer dot in okay so you can check from the my blog and also I will uh, post in github thank you for watching this video